All right, here we are back at it again. And this time we're gonna build something like this. It's a uh, Centurion here. Now actually I want to build the Action 10 or Action X, whatever that's supposed to mean. Anyway, uh, I should probably set this up. I just dragged in a blueprint of a Centurion, so. And I just drug it in and gave it transforms. Blended it like it's uh, relative to your view. So, uh, to fix that, I think you can hit. Well, what you could do is you could um, right click over a location, for example, and do. You set all to default values. And that's going to be in the transform option. So, select this um, orange box and right click for location, rotation, and scale. Uh, another thing you can do is I'm pretty sure you can select it and hit Alt G for the location and Alt R for the rotation. And if you know what the button is to open the console in Gmod, if you hold that you can go into you know tap down left right views. So tap view. Gonna move this down one y axis till that gun just about lines up. I don't have a front view reference, so you should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, I'm just gonna add a plane actually. So, Shift A, Mesh Plane. Rotate this. And now basically I'm just gonna copy the outline of this tank. So, in X ray mode, I'm gonna select my plane. Make sure that's selected and hit tab to go into edit mode and it was this view, right? No, it has to be fag view. There we go. So I want to say that's the belly. And this is the top. Right about there. X. Say so that's the back of it. Now we'll turn X-ray on and... Oh, you know what? The top of the tank is like here. The engine bay kind of raises up, doesn't it? That's better. And I want to... Let's just say it starts right here. And ends right here. Basically, I'm doing this sort of sloping uh, part. Actually, I can grab, grab this whole edge. I mean, that's it. I'm, I'm basically just tracing this. Well, that was actually pretty quick. Should probably do this more, but uh, let's go ahead and do a top view. So, actually, if I go and see the face origin, okay, this is good. Blue means it's facing you, and red means it's not facing you. You want it to be all blue on the outside here. So, and if you need to change it, what you can do is, still in edit mode, by the way, hit everything and hit shift N. And that'll recalculate normals. You might have to click inside if it's the wrong way. There you go. Um, so I'm going to select everything, top view, and just move it along the y axis. There you go. And I'm going to put it right about there. Uh, so another thing we can do now is I want to just come to the center. So if I hit E. Now everything's wrong. So once it, oh, I don't need to, well, leave it on for now. I'm going to hit shift in again and that puts it on the outside. So I don't want these faces here because I'm going to put a mirror on this. So I'm just going to select those. And basically what you can do is you can select this face right here. Let me make a new collection. Call this 
guides. And I'm going to put these empties in there because I kind of don't need them right now. So this face over here, what you can do is select this face and then hold control and select this face and it'll pick a the shortest path, which is usually just, you know, going to be straight. And then you can just hit delete faces. Okay. Now on my object, I'm going to disable uh, face orientation. I'm going to go ahead and add a mirror modifier. If I can find it. Uh, there we go. Along the y-axis, not the x-axis. No, x-axis. What the heck? <laughs> I'm pretty sure what you can do is in object mode, just uh, hit control A, rotation, and now it'll be on the y-axis. It's because, uh, it's because, um, uh, I rotated the the plane when I spawned it in uh, object mode so it like kept those orientations but this is fine another thing um, I'm gonna want clipping so that the middle vertices here join up there we go now I can re-enable the guides see what this looks like in top view you know I actually want to say that's it for the hole It's gonna add a uh, cylinder here, and once again, I'm gonna move this in object mode. So, I think the center of the turret will be, and we can change the radius, make it smaller. Let's move it forward some, and then something like that. That's better. the depth non-existent amazingly bring it up on the z-axis and I think that's good enough and now I want to mess up my snapping settings and move this on vertex and make it active so if I just click this and hit A up on the z-axis and hold control it'll like snap to the top of the hole that's good so now I want to select all this Reselect this holding shift. Go up some. There we go. Actually, before I do that, I want to like put a mirror on this as well. So if I just select two points holding shift and just hit J, I want to hide everything. J. Okay. Just select all this stuff here. That's not what I wanted. Let's use circle select. And because we're on the other side, I want to invert it with Control I and just hit delete faces. Add modifier. Mirror. Once again, I have to. Oh no, I don't. Very cool. I didn't hit edit the rotation. That's why. Okay. Clipping. And that should be good, right? Yeah. Now I want to duplicate this. And I'm just going to move everything up in the duplicated one. It's kind of weird, but we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure the back of the Action 10 start is basically the same. That's what that looks like in top view. If I just hit E, right? Yeah, I think that's good. I'm just gonna select all these and merge them at the last point. Wait, no, 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 I don't wanna do that. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I wanted to merge them like there. Okay, so there we go. ML. In my head. That's kind of what I want. Yeah, I think I'll do is I'll just uh, merge these here. It's a little bit better. Actually, kind of rounded, but I'll just make it flat. It'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, 
needs to be a hack needs to come around over here. So what control R you can add loop cuts. So I'm just gonna do that. Go back into top view and just move it uh, right about there. I'm going to add something to cut this, so cube. <laughs> And let's just, uh, oh wait, not, that was an edit mode, it needs to be an object mode, because I don't want to add it to it. Shift A, cube. Actually, my OCD is kind of starting to get for me, so what I can do is I can select the turret, then the cube, then hit edit mode. Now I'm editing both the objects. By hitting L, you can select everything uh, linked to this, so... If I were to hit A, it selects everything, but if I hit L on the cube, that's all good. So I'm just going to move this on the x-axis and then on the z-axis. And now using the period key on my keyboard, I can change it to the pivot point to active element. And when I rotate, it's going to rotate around this line. If I rotate it around the y-axis, so R, Y. Now, I'm going to use a boolean. To use a boolean, you have to, it has to be on closed surfaces, so you can't have any open faces. So let's just say this isn't going to work because this is all open. And I might show you in a second, but let us turn off face orientation and add a boolean. So I think we want it on different, and it's going to cut the cube. If I hide the cube. And see what we get. This really doesn't look like a centurion right now. If I were to do that first, if I were to get rid of the mirror basically. Now it's doing something completely whack. It's like put the cube there, it's not really working. So uh, make sure it's sealed first. So let me get my mirror back. And you can see it's all good. And that's the nice thing about having modifier booleans is that you can just go back and edit them. So I actually want to make a few more cuts because the base of the uh, action tens turret is kind of like, uh, you know, flattened. So I believe, oh yeah, let's just add more cubes, I guess. I'm not sure if there's a better way to do this, but I basically want this edge to continue until it intersects this one, so. I believe I... Okay, no, what I do is I, uh... Hmm. I think that's the only way to do that. So, this is, okay, Shift D, and just scale it up really big. And I'm going to do something disgusting, and just... Add a vertice here, move it up, and I'm just going to fill this in, shift D and scale it up, so now I have an intersection to work with, so what we can do is we can hit G and then G again to like slide it, now I can't go past over here, so what I can do is I can hit C, disable the boundary, yeah I didn't need this face here. And what I can do now is just slide it back, but I want face clipping. A face, uh, project? That's interesting. Uh, let's try face project, I guess. So now, if I hit, there we go, that's what I want. I'm just going to scale these out. Because you're not going to see these anyway. Along the y-axis, that is. So right about there. Actually more, because I'm going to clip two here, so there. Still looks really off. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Nope, from the active element, please. There we 
go. And actually to stop from having to re it, what I can do is just select all these, extrude them along the y-axis with clipping, maybe. And I'm just going to select one of these. And what I can do is go into my transform orientations just to the left of my uh, snapping that I changed so much. And what I can do is hit the plus, it gives me a face. And this is basically a custom transform. And what I can do is just delete these. And it automatically selects it. So you can see if I hit comma next to period, I can, none, none of these are highlighted. So if I go over here, scale this along the Z to zero, right? That looks like it raised. I don't want it to raise at all. Oh, I know what I can do. I can, uh, I can do this. Have it active over here. Oops. S Z zero. There we go. Didn't raise. And that should be flat. If you ever want to know if your stuff is flat or not, you can put a triangulate on it. And these settings really don't matter, but you can see if I did something funny like this, it triangulates very quickly and you can see that it's just not flat. And now I want to rotate you by... Not that much. Maybe five. Okay, now I have to go to the turret, add another boolean. I can probably just control D, right? And this object is going to be this cube. Yeah, that's looking better. Okay, I'm going to have to actually apply the booleans first because this isn't really helping. Uh, so, turret. And I got to apply the mirror first because if I don't, it was, it's going to do that weird thing where it cuts into like a unclosed mesh, so mirror, boolean, 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 not the triangulate, that can stay. So we delete all the <laughs> the other side, so I can get my turret ring and hole back if I really want to, and that plane I was messing with, so you, you need to move over, actually. G shift C, once again, yeah. might end up using this plate after all, but what I'm going to do is I can slide this, I'm going to go back to face, slide this down, hold control, snaps to face, slide this one down, snaps to face, slide this one, oh, stop that, there we go. And what I can do here is if I hide the turret, I can duplicate this. Actually, I just want to duplicate these lines. D and E Y axis. And I'm not going to use this one just yet, so I'm just going to delete it to the turret. And what I can do the same way we made the custom orientation based on the face, we can do that the same thing with the lines. So what I can do is go over here, click the plus, and we have an edge. So on this edge, how much do I want to rotate this down, I wonder? First I'm going to go back to global. Let's go drag this out somewhere. Go back to that edge. You can actually give these names as well, but I usually throw them away really fast, so... I'm going to separate this, so if you select some stuff, I'm just going to select this and hit P, selection it makes its own object, so that's no longer a part of my measuring line, or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, it's, an, it's its own object now. I'm going to extrude this, because it needs to be a box to actually boolean, and I want to check the normals on this stuff. All good. Now I'm going to hide my plane, and go to the turret, hide this blue stuff. Oh, object mode. Add another boolean. Very cool. And in this boolean, I want you to cut 
What is this? Plan one. Um, so yeah, this is this is funny. Um what we can do to fix that is just activate the plane. Go on my turret. I'm gonna get that thing I had back, so when global E Y just gonna duplicate this and scale it up and delete this other one. Scale this up some more actually. Right here on the Yeah, there we go. Wow, what in the world? <laughs> oh, it's because sorry, don't worry about it. And I'm gonna hit C again so it can slide out infinitely. Oops. G G and then slide it a little bit C right there. Perfect. Go back on the turret, get rid of this because this is messing with my boolean. Perfect. Now when I look at it, there we go. Nice. What will this be? 25? Now what we can do is just go ahead and extrude, check the normals. It does look kind of weird, <laughs> doesn't it? Rotate it five degrees down, right? It's not too bad, it's just not particularly good. Let's uh, apply everything and everything but the triangle. Like, never apply that, that's a nightmare to undo. This is all triangles, but. Okay. Whoa. Oh. A new vertices. Yeah, that looks a little bit better, right? Something like this. Hold up, hold up now. Yeah, that's that's better. Like sort of in the middle of the gun. And you can see now I've friggin' messed this up. <laughs> So I believe just changing this should be fine. Just eyeing this until the triangle goes away, basically. Uh, that is... So another thing I want to uh, do is, let's add a cube, right, just random cube, completely random. Move it up one meter, move it to the side. So this cube is two meters big, and the tank is tiny. So I think if we assume a person is what, like, this scale this down to 1.9 over 2. So let's just say a person is about this big, right? This, this freaking ugly Minecraft person. I'm going to duplicate all this. And I'm going to drag it into Final Mockup. And we can hide all of this. So, this, this, and this needs to get scaled up quite a bit. So I'm actually going to move that to 3D cursor. And I'm just going to... Hey, let's scale this up a bit more until it gets to about the 3 meter mark, right? 
And I'm just going to be slightly shorter because I think the commander's hatch might have had something to do with this. Alright, we have this to the side. And now we can... Set the origin to geometry. It doesn't matter. Um, and start a mirror on this. Okay, mirror only. Okay, mirror depends on the origin. That's why it wasn't working. So if I apply the location, there we go. See the locations in the middle, like the tank hole, like the turret ring is in the middle, center line. Export. Wave front. And a P2M. This is your Gary's My data folder. So, Gary's My data P2M. And I'm just going to call this MT8. Uh, so, I had a preset saved called Blender to GMod. And the scale, it scales up 39.37. So, inches to meters. For some reason it always reads in inches, even though my blender is in meters. Um, I'm pretty sure these are wrong. So, <laughs> apply modifiers. And that's it. Uh, selected only, by the way. So, I selected things and now I'm exporting. And could you believe I had Gmod open this entire time? <laughs> yeah. Controller. Let's go ahead and stick a material on it, shall we? Oh. Get the material I'm addicted to. And import. Go to OBJ open file browser. P2M MT8 is what I saved it as. So Every single time it's going to be render invert, and I like to have render inside on. Yeah, see those settings were just wrong. I'm going to have to tweak those. Actually, let's do that right now. Um, hello, hello, hello. Major outline of the vehicle is is done so I can start building with props roughly to this shape. It doesn't even have to match this shape is what I'm saying. So that should be fun. But for now, that's the video. <laughs>